So I'll be explaining how the concept of edges work and how it can help you with your paintings. First, we need to talk about what good edges look like. So for example, this is a work by Greg Manches and he's known for really great brushwork and um, edge control in his paintings. And the first thing you'll see that there's crisp pattern over here on the focal point which is over here on the first guy that we're looking as well as this one and as it moves further and further back we lose a bit more information and a bit more um, of those edges so they get blurred out as you can see here this guy is really blurry this one is not as blurry but it's not as crisp as this one and of course um, the gigantic um, ship also has lots of blurry edges around it then of course the the seaweed or um, the vegetation in this underwater painting are also really blurry and really rough as well as the gradation to this like light source over here but on the points that matter we have a lot of information it's all very crisp and for the next example is this one so you can see that this cat has a lot of sharp edges over here um around the face and you know since that is the focal point greg chooses to have a bit more information like tighten up those strokes around the face but have a bit more um expressive brushwork and looser painting style towards the edges of the canvas so over here you can see um the reflections isn't as sharp like you can make this much sharper you know and like actually outline what it's kind of reflecting but he didn't choose to do that he just made it a bit more textured a bit more rough as well as this one you can't even tell like the details on the side of this um space helmet but uh yeah on the parts that matter the parts that we are you know focused on looking at we actually have those crisp edges and of course the background since we don't look at the background as much it's all just very textured and very soft and for this one so these two are portraits right and they have a bit of a different way of edge control compared to a landscape painting right but the curious thing is even though it's a portrait right and we're looking at the face greg chooses to actually erase this part and make that like a lost edge we still recognize this character so it's not just about thinking about what's important it's also about thinking about what's what you can let go and what you can take away from the painting and still make it work so that's part of edge control as well so here everything is a bit more detailed everything is a bit more refined well this is way more loose but because greg is able to capture the likeness of the character um capture as much details on the eyes nose and mouth and forego the details on other areas such as the cheeks and the suit um he still made the painting work and because of how he blurs the less important stuff and makes them all expressive right it actually mimics how we see the world with our human eyes because you know the human eye isn't isn't like a camera where we see everything crystal clear it's actually more close to a really blurry camera with a really um small area that has a ton of detail in think of it as like your peripheral vision right you don't see much details on the peripheral vision but you get you get the sense of it you get the gist of it right and much like over here as well um it's like you're mimicking how the actual human eye works and therefore it becomes more natural to look at a painting rather than looking at a photograph which is not what the human eye sees but what the camera sees so um to apply this thinking on your own paintings we actually need to think about first the concept of what type of edges there are so of course there's hard there's soft and there's lost so hard is you can clearly see a visible a visible edge between two colors and there's no transition in between a soft one is you can still see like an imaginary line but it's not as prominent as a hard edge while the lost one is you can't completely determine where 
the transition ends and starts so we can't really tell there's an edge but you know it's a it's much more like a really soft gradient and it doesn't have to be like this it can also be um, stylized and textured much like this one where there's a bit more texture on the hard edge and there's a bit more texture on the soft edge as well as on the lost edge so this is what um is happening when we look at greg's paintings where there's lots of lost edges for example on the background there's lost edges when we go into more important parts such as when we're getting closer to the face we see more and more soft edges and less lost edges and then when we actually look at the the actual facial features or the actual focal point we see more of those hard edges and less of those soft edges now as an example i will try to fix some paintings regarding their edges so i have some artworks over here these are all ai generated so you know it's actually really hard to source um beginner or like intermediate artworks because you know you kind of have i don't really have express permission to use them in a video or like critique them publicly so i'll just let ai do that and fix their paintings anyway so for this one uh, what i'm thinking right now regarding the edge control of this is it's not that bad you know i guess the big thing is this is like there's not much um there's not much information here so um we could add a bit more clouds here to add a bit more um interest to to this area you know add a bit more texture to this area rather than just have it like a blinding airbrush all the way and i wish this mountain was rendered a bit more so have more crisp edges over here and actually define that form a bit more compared to what we have right now i guess something like this actually like there there are like lots of problems with this painting of course like the value wise color wise so, but we're just gonna fix the edge part right and not worry too much about everything else then the other one would be um it's kind of lacking on where we're supposed to look at so when we look at the um the rule of thirds for example we're more attracted towards this area and like this area but this isn't really a character so maybe we could add like a house here or make this tree a bit more interesting to look at but the fact that this part has um sharp edges is great because you know this is the focal point so we have we should have more sharp edges over here or hard edges at least then over here we also have really hard edges on the trees over here so i would change that because that's really really far off in the distance and i would either make this a bit lighter so we don't see it as much or we just have it um we just make these edges a bit softer a bit more textured that way it doesn't pull as much attention here there's like a really harsh shadow over here and i would blend this a bit more then this one too lacks a, like a fair amount of detail so we could add a bit more um bit more definition to the rock formations here and you can only do that by having a visual library to build upon or you know using photo textures or getting a bit more references regarding this area then for the last one i guess um it's more about the lighting area so i would make this a bit brighter that way um this tree stands out more and make this a bit darker then of course add a bit more contrast over here now this one we can add that sharp harsh shadow to really define that and add you know a more crisp edge to this area okay so for a before and after i think that looks pretty okay for the time that we have and the edges that are just mainly focusing on the edges and not you know everything else about um that's wrong with the painting but i do like the fact that they made these bushes really really soft so they're like lost edges and they still have a bit more texture and character to them even though um they're just bushes all right right now what i'm thinking is um we lost a bit of uh, information on the legs so maybe we could either make that 
I'm not sure, like make that a cape and define that shape a bit more or actually define that leg a bit more because we lost so much information regarding that. But the fact that it's a bit farther away from the focal point, which is over here, it doesn't pull away um, from the focal point too much. So we can keep some of the more soft edges and you know just tighten it just a bit instead of having it completely lost like before. This one, I'm not too sure wh where this like light source is coming from. So I would just make this a bit more, just a bit brighter instead of completely white because that pulls away from the focal point a lot. And now this one, this is way too bright. So I'm just gonna airbrush everything, make it slightly darker. That way um, it's not, it doesn't hurt our eyes too much. But that I do like the fact that we have this really, really strong highlight over here. And maybe we can um, work with that, but not use pure white for it. Maybe this could be a cape. Now I can just make this a lost edge by blending it away by using, you know, get us blending brushes. Now, I, I'd actually like a bit more definition over here on the hair. Just gonna try to define a bit more of the forms. And I actually think this like color yellow is a bit too saturated for my liking, but we can really fix every little problem that we have right now. And of course, um, there's lots of issues with the face, but we're just gonna make it like, I don't know, some sort of superhero with a mask like that. And then I'd make some of the edges around the costume a bit, you know, softer because we have a lot, we have a lot of soft and really lost edges, but we don't have as much for the armor. So. Maybe we can soften that a bit or make it a bit more textured, get a bit more loose compared to what we have right now. Because right now it's pulling a lot of attention towards there, which is good, you know, but um, or I'd argue that it's a bit too much for the style that we have um, for everything else that's happening on the canvas. So maybe we could add a bit of smoother transition like this and maybe make this flesh colored instead of pure white this one doesn't make sense since her arm is like over here then we kind of lost a lot of information regarding the hair over here so maybe we could stylize that a bit more make that uh, a more interesting characteristic of this character like f smooth flowing hair rather than just weird blobs or definition to the hair i guess that's it um maybe we could add a bit more darker color over here that way we don't lose um the actual silhouette of this of this character we actually make it a bit darker than that not really sure what this mask really looks like but uh, we're just gonna go with it okay we could also add a bit more highlight over here add a bit more definition to that area and yeah, I think that's about it. So here's the before and after. So we really tone down the contrast, like um, that blinding white light and made that a bit more subtle, you know, controlled it a bit more. And I actually like this area right here on the bottom. Th that's a lot of space where you can express more of your brushwork. So maybe get a more textured brush, your, you know, great painting brush and like go ham into making those textured edges but yeah maybe that's a another topic for another video and now we can go over to this one so this one is partly about edges partly about you know contrast and values much like the other ones but for this one it's a bit more interesting problem because we're getting pulled to look downwards a lot like over here on the bottom because there's a lot of contrast there. There's a lot of harsh edges. So like this one, it's a really harsh edge with lots of contrast, right? So this is really bright and really dark at the same time. While over here, it's a bit more faded and the background is kind of like a mid-tone. So it doesn't stand out as much. So what I would suggest is actually just making this area kind of the opposite. So I would make this a bit brighter, this area a bit brighter. And make this dark this area a bit darker now we can just fix most of the edges so now we have more of the focus here on the top since that has a bit more contrast compared to the other ones compared to this lower half of the painting and we also have a lot of detail here that has a lot of contrast so for example this one 
has a really harsh shadow as well as the detail over here while the features of the face and like the muscles or like the area around the neck is a bit more um it's a bit more blurred and we don't have a lot of information regarding that and that could be a stylistic choice you know these aren't really hard and fast rules but if we're talking about how traditionally when you're thinking about proper edge control if you want the viewer to look at this more then you add a bit more contrast over here rather than over here right so i'm gonna make this a bit more defined this area a bit more darker of course there are lots of like anatomical issues and perspective issues which i can't really go into right now but i can just make it a slightly better painting than what we currently have right now i'm creating a shadow around this area to kind of outline that form more and since we have a really bright background, having a shadow over here on the left side brings out that silhouette a bit more and outlines the character silhouette a bit more. And of course, there's lots of issues with the hand. Not really sure what he's doing with his hand. We can just make it you know, less disturbing to look at. I'm just um, outlining the form of the face more, have more detail regarding that area. We can forego this bicep art and uh, fix a bit more of the anatomy issues over here on the left side or over on the right side and then we can remove a bit of the contrast over here by just airbrushing it entirely with the background color so that adds a bit more fog and atmosphere into this area and kind of blends that back into the background while this part over here on the face we can tighten a bit more and have the full focus of the viewer towards this area and of course um with the background you know you can go ham with a lot of your texture brushes and add a lot of character to you know a seemingly mundane part of the painting and that's actually you know kind of the fun with painting you can add lots of character to seemingly mundane background gradients make it a bit more interesting with textures uh yeah i think that's all i can do for now maybe we could have added um a bit more contrast here or better yet i can pull this dark area a bit more make that a bit lost or darken it a bit more that way we have a bit more contrast over there and we don't lose as much um information regarding that but yeah of course you know with everything with painting um it's kind of like a push and pull if you try to make the background darker in this area some problems might arise from that change so over here try to change the value of the character's shoulder and arm but that blended a bit to the background so um need to change the background a bit to make it pop a bit more um so on and so forth but yeah this is the before and after so i think this has this pulls your eyes to this area a bit more right um arguably this has better contrast this is a more striking illustration but yeah with more time we can add a bit more detail we can add a bit more contrast to this area that i think is the biggest um the biggest issue with this painting there's still a lot of contrast over here on the legs there's still a lot of detail and we actually need to paint all that out blend that in a bit more compared to this one so uh yeah even though it's not as striking we fixed some of the issues with the focal point by adjusting some of the edges as well as you know the values blending things in together um so on and so forth and i think that's all that i'm that i have for now to show the concept of edges so if you enjoyed watching this consider giving this video a like and if you want to see more videos such as this one you can go ahead and subscribe and see you on the next video